So there were more things that you were reaching for. The second thing about money. I know that there is like massive empires of wealth. You have no idea. We've seen. Like, I get that. And people have told me that. Other people that can see it as well, they've told me that. So it's just validation. I know it's there. So... Well, validation from others is not worth anything. Okay. Because... True. You can't offer vibration about that. But if it helps you to focus and helps you to feel for it. Right. So yeah. as you encourage that visceral feeling of exhilaration about wow, what's unfolding, that's all you need to do. Just stay happily optimistic. That's all you have to do. Just stay happily optimistic and say things to the universe like, bring it whenever I'm ready for it and I'll do my best to get ready for it as quickly as I can. But meanwhile, I'm having a really good time. Meanwhile, I'm having a really good time. I'm satisfied where I am and eager for more. That is the best vibrational stance. I'm loving where I am and so eager for what's coming next. I love where I am and so eager for what's coming next. There's only engines going that away. Yeah. So with money, is, is that all I'm supposed to do? <laughs> That's the only thing in your vortex. We've looked and looked and looked. There's no humanity. There's no fun. There's nothing. There's just only money in there. <laughs> of course not. Here's the specific answer to you and your specific question. If we can convince you, we'd like all of you to feel this with us. If we can convince you that being in this body, in this body and focused on something that is interesting, and therefore accomplishing clarity that's as good as it gets and it doesn't matter what the subject of your attention is focus and find clarity and then experience the evolution of whatever it is you're focused upon so in the beginning often it is money because in your human mind and we get why money feels like the key to so many things for you mm -hmm. it provides easier mm -hmm. access and easier freedom it's certainly not the answer to most of what's in your vortex or in your heart but it is a wonderful facilitator certainly not the only thing there but it's a nice thing to be there you equate financial remuneration with freedom and freedom is essential to you allowing for yourself all of the wonderful things that you're wanting and then once money starts flowing, Esther caught a little piece of a television program last night where the Bill Gates and Melinda Gates Foundation was doing all of this wonderful work all around the world. But the money was important to the work that they are doing. And so once the money began flowing, then their attention could begin turning to other avenues that they were wanting. If the money hadn't been there, then mm -hmm. the other ideas could not have flowed behind them. Sort of like that. Mm -hmm. So I should just let my freedom flow and my vortex flow and the money will flow. Yes, yes, yes. And we would add to that, let your interests flow. Because if something feels compelling and interesting to you, you can be certain that there's enough in your vortex that has been coming together and enough cooperative components have been gathered that there is something surprising and delighting that is unfolding for you. Don't try to get too specific about what it is. You see, often people say, well, I want more money and I'm going to do it in this way and this way. And so it's not only what I want, but you try to figure out how it's going to come, when it's going to come, where it's going to come from, who's going to be part of it. And when you ask all those questions to which you don't have answers, you pile all these engines going the other way on your train, where if you just talk about what you want and why you want it, now you're open-ended going that way. You're not bringing any undue resistance to your equation and then the ideas unfold along the way because it is certain that all that you intended as you came into this physical body is in your vortex and all that you've picked up along your physical trail is in there and your inner being knows everything about who you are and what you want and knows the path that will bring you the most success and do you know what your inner being terms success your happiness, your day-to-day, moment-to-moment happiness. Most people say, my success is about money and influence and power. Well, we're talking about influence and power and money 
also, we're talking about connection to source energy where the energy that creates worlds is flowing through you. But success is about the way you feel. Success is about you closing that gap between you and you. It's like we were teasing yesterday. If you want to toast some bread and you stubbornly refuse to plug the toaster in, you can go through all the other motions, all the successful motions. You're looking right there on the instructions and you get the bread out and you carefully take the slices out and you wrap the bread back up so it doesn't get stale and you put it in the toaster and you push down the buttons and then you wait for quite a long while but you haven't plugged the toaster in and you're not going to get toast so what you really want is alignment and alignment will always bring you joy and satisfaction and clarity and those are the keys to success and everything else follows that everything else follows that thank you that's very clear thank you so much <laughs> thank you enough thank you Really Thank you. Yeah. I'm here from uh, Norway and I brought my wife and um, last Monday we went on a long trip, first to Copenhagen, then to uh, Boston, then on to Minneapolis. It was the first time I've ever felt what you've been talking about because for some reason, we sat in row 16 on all three flights. And uh, on the flight from Copenhagen to Boston, the waiter, or what, what is he called, steward? Flight attendant. Yeah, flight attendant. He came and he... Uh, Lifesaver. Whatever. <laughs> uh, he came and he uh, gave us um, all sorts of free service. We were in coach and we were supposed to pay for everything. He gave us everything for free and he sat down, he talked to us and he was telling us how wonderful the world is. And we sort of accepted that and we went on, went on to the next flight. And we've been looking to get into 3D printing for a long time. And we sat on the next flight and didn't talk to anyone, slept the whole way. And at the end, uh, I woke up and my contact lenses were stuck. I had to get them out of my eyes and I lost one of them. And the person next to me was starting to look for it with me couldn't find it and the more we looked the more we talked and he said you know I'm an investor in 3d printing <laughs> and the reason I'm bringing this up is that for me that was uh, this story is so good because it's contrast it tells me that it is good because it usually doesn't happen are you saying that sometimes something that appears contrasting in nature like losing a contact lens is actually the path of least resistance to something you're looking for yes so if you really believe that things are always working out for you then you'd be expecting wonderful outcomes no matter what and that really is what step five is mm -hmm. benefiting from contrast yeah yeah. At the same time, I think that in our everyday lives, the manifestations and experiences may be just the opposite. And then I'm probably way out of the vortex or something. I don't know. Well, we can understand why you might think that because we'll give you a very literal sense of what was going on there. So focus back on the train analogy and acknowledge that for whatever reason, you had more engines lined up taking you toward what you wanted than engines working in opposition. So you were more lighthearted and each good thing that happened caused you to plunk another engine on, another engine on. So you had more momentum going toward your advantage and less momentum going toward any disadvantage. So then a contrasting experience happened. But because of the positive momentum, this contrasting experience not only didn't hinder you, it actually was of benefit to you. It opened the door for conversation about something that you really wanted. So this helps us say to all of you that things are always working out for you, but your perception of them has to do with how much momentum you've got going toward your desire and how much momentum you've got going in opposition to your desire. So things have always been working out for you, but let's say that instead of you feeling more good than not good, that you had been feeling more not good. 
let's say you hadn't gotten off on the right foot and you'd had some unpleasant things in your day-to-day -day now experience that had you pushing against things and let's say that you were like most people you're observing what's happening and so it happens you feel it you flow it it happens and so let's say you were on that sort of and let's say that under those conditions you lost a contact lens well your timing would have been different you wouldn't have been with a helpful person perhaps that person may have still been asleep or that person may have been doing something else you have so much control law of attraction and timing are the same words because law of attraction is always operating in the powerful now law of attraction isn't operating in your yesterday or in your tomorrow law of attraction is operating in your powerful now so whatever you're feeling now explains why things unfold the way they do and it really comes down to something very simple you're either receptive to help or you're blocked off to help so when I feel angry about something it never you're blocked works off. off you're blocked off we like this analogy so life causes you to know that you do want something and so and let's say that you actually are able to articulate I want this and you plunk an engine down going that way so that engine is going that way and will continue to go that way and will gather momentum on its own because your inner being is tending it law of attraction is responding to that thought so it is moving now this is so important for you to hear this as your engine is moving that way and forgive the rudimentary analogy but it will help you as your engine is moving that way and you are not moving that engine moving will give you a little stress let's say your feet are nailed to the track but the engine is pulling you that way you will feel stress now not as much stress as if you had an engine going that way but not moving in the direction of your momentum does feel uncomfortable therefore this is the most powerful and factual thing that we've ever said to anyone the existence of your desire will automatically produce stress within you unless you let go and move with your desire so the very existence of negative emotion means that you've got a desire the very existence of negative emotion means your source your inner being is calling you in other words the existence of negative emotion means that help is on the way and so don't be angry at yourself about your anger say oh good this is good news this means I'm pulling against something and what is it that I'm pulling against my momentum my success my inner being and what my inner being knows and then tack on to this knowledge a few personal experiences where you witness with your own eyes things working out for you and then little by little you become more of a cooperative component to your own allowance of things and oh once you get rolling once those things start stacking up once this conversation leads to this conversation Esther was playing with a friend a few weeks ago they're working on a project together that was more about what he was doing than what she was doing but she was helping him with this project and they were high-fiving each other every five minutes <laughs> because the thoughts that they were thinking and the fun that they were having just led to event after event after event after event that was just jaw-dropping nothing extraordinary in the sense that you couldn't understand how it happened but it was a consistent constant sequence of it that left them breathless and they said to one another many many times no one can ever explain that the universe isn't on our side and that things aren't working out for us the evidence is too profound well hearing it about someone else hearing that a jet came and delivered one woman to the Chicago event is well and good and maybe even humorous but when it happens to you it's meaningful finding a nine thousand dollar diamond in the bushes if it happens to somebody else oh it's a coincidence or maybe she was doing something different than I'm doing or maybe she's just lucky and maybe Abraham's just making a big deal out of what luck really is but when it happens to you 
When you are privy to the desire that's within you and the conversations that are within you, when you witness the universal response to your vibration and when you're consciously aware of the vibration that you're offering, then this all begins to make sense. If you're just stumbling into things and you're not able to acknowledge the correlation between what you were thinking and what you were feeling and the manifestations, then you don't have hands-on access to how it works. But when it's happening to you like that, Oh, it's wonderful. Then you know. Yes. Then you know. Yes.